hi to our YouTube family. Hi. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, I really, really appreciate it. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Jenny. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for being back. I really, really appreciate it. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated curly hair routine. If I'm not mistaken, I filmed my last curly hair routine like a year and a half ago and I was like, ooh, that's a long time. So I was like, we should do this a yearly tradition. Once a year, I will show you guys my curly hair routine. So it's, we're already like halfway through this year. So we're like, okay, I definitely need to show you guys my updated curly hair routine because although like the basics have stayed the same, there are a couple of things here and there that I am doing different, which I am loving and I feel have made a big difference. So I wanna go ahead and share that with you guys. These are the results of today's curly hair routine. I hope that you guys love it, and yeah, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. I don't think you guys understand how much I hate, hate the feeling of wet hair. Alrighty, so the first thing I always do before applying product is I make sure that my hair is very wet. All I did was I ran to the sink and I just threw my hair under the water and re-wet it because I just sometimes feel like using one of these just takes too long. So you could use a bottle of water, you not a bottle of water, I mean you could use a bottle of water. Just dunk it on yourself um, or you could use like one of these little spray bottles whatever is easier for you I just recommend that you do apply product on very wet hair I do notice or feel like some parts need just a tiny bit more so I'm just gonna go back in there and re-wet these parts once I feel my hair is very damp or very wet I go in with my wet brush and I detangle it. You're gonna see that it's gonna detangle like crazy easy because I do detangle my hair in the shower. Once I come out, I just touch it up, but all the knots and all the heavy duty detangling I did in the shower. I just find it so much easier and a lot less painful. All right, I definitely had a little bit more detangling to do than I thought. So the tangling is done. The first thing that I'm gonna go in with, which this hasn't changed, I've been doing this for a little while already, is go in with my Use Me Vitamin Spray. I just go ahead and I spray this evenly throughout my whole hair. So I was actually gonna film this video last week, but tell me how I ran out of all my products. <laughs> Yesterday I got everything, all my creams and gels came in, so I was finally able to do it. But last week I was like, I'm so excited, I'm gonna like do an updated curly hair routine. Psych. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with my Rizos Curl Curling Cream. This has been my newest obsession. I really, really like it. It's very lightweight, but it still gives me enough hold and it helps a lot with frizz. What I feel like what I like the most about it is that it's one of those creams that I have found doesn't weigh down my hair. Usually I have to wait about like day three to get the volume that I like. I feel like ever since I started using this cream, I get a little bit more volume on the first day. So you guys already know how I feel about volume. One of the biggest changes that I've done with my curly hair routine is normally I do this and immediately I go to the top of my head. Now I'm not doing that anymore because I feel like when I did that, like that would really weigh down my hair and it did not matter how much I picked at it, it was gonna weigh it down. So what I do now is I start in this section right here and I start raking the product in. I do end up putting a little bit of product on the top of my hair, uh, just not as much as before. Now, if you suffer from a lot of frizz, especially like up here, like you get like your little halo of frizz, I would definitely recommend putting more product. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. I'm gonna flip my hair forward and I'm going to continue to rake the product throughout, making sure that I get like this hair back here because I do do a lot of picking. And if I don't put like a good amount of product plus the picking, like it gets like really, 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 really frizzy. <laughs> Next 
now I'm going to move on to my gel. This is an oldie but goodie. You guys know I've been using the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel for years. Every time I like drift away from it, somehow I'm just like, no. Nah! <laughs> and I always come back to it. So I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the curl cream. I'm going to do it with the gel where I'm going to rake it. And then I'm going to flip my hair forward and I'm going to continue to rake and scrunch. I am going to add, like I said, a little bit to the scalp, but I'm not going to concentrate it in the top part of my hair, again, so it doesn't weigh down my curls. Now, if you can start to see right here, I could already tell that if I don't put more product here, this is going to definitely frizz up. So I'm going to grab a little bit of the Bounce Curl Gel, and I'm just going to add that there. But when you just flatten out the curls and then scrunch, that helps out a lot with frizz. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more on the other side. So now moving on to my trusty Denman brush. If you're a curly girl, you need this brush. So what I do is I brush the curls and then with a cotton t-shirt, I scrunch them up. And what this is going to do, it's going to help me reduce the frizz and it's going to help me with definition. Also, I find that doing this helps me find like little spots where I should be adding more product because as soon as I run the Denman brush through my hair, if a little area looks kind of frizzy or questionable, definitely by the time I diffuse, for sure it's going to frizz up. So I just go back in there and add a little bit more. Okay, so now that I've done that to the front of my curls, I'm just going to grab the cotton t-shirt and I'm going to scrunch the rest of my curls. I'm going to do it like this and then once I'm done, I'm going to flip my hair forward and do the same thing. Alright, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. I'm ready to go ahead and start diffusing. So to diffuse, I'm using the hair dryer from Ion. It's a Magnesium Pro. I've been using this hair dryer for a couple of months now and I have to tell you that I absolutely love it. I feel like it's made my diffusing time much shorter. I would say that it's saving me at least 10 minutes so this is pretty awesome i would definitely recommend it the diffuser that i'm using is the one from the curly company i've been using it for a while this is the retractable one awesome for traveling i just really really like it it's so simple it attaches to pretty much any hair dryer so i highly highly recommend this i do not touch the curl while I'm diffusing for the first, I would say 15 to 20 minutes. Once I start to feel a cast created on my curls, where like the hair starts to feel a little bit crunchy, that is when I start to scrunch my curls as I'm diffusing. That helps the drying process go a little bit quicker and it also helps the curl to start getting that natural bouncy feel. Alright, so I have been diffusing, I timed myself, I'm actually I'm surprised because I've only been diffusing for 9 minutes. I guess it just, it feels longer than what it actually is. So my hair feels like it's pretty dry and I've already feel like the cast. So now is when I'm going to continue to diffuse, however I am going to start like scrunching up the curls. And you guys are going to see that the curl is going to start to like open up, loosen up, and it's going to start taking like that fluffier, bouncier feel. So do you guys start to see the difference already? I mean, it's really quick and very obvious, at least to me, the change when I start scrunching up my curl and I start to like just break up all that cast.
All right, we are almost done. So next, after my hair feels like it's 100% dry, I like to go in with the Widad Mangongo oil. This is probably one of the only oils that I use on my hair. And I don't even use that much, but it's like a very unique oil because it's not like oily feeling. I really recommend it, I love it. So what I like to do is I put some on my hand, like I spritz it and then I scrunch this throughout my hair. Grab a little bit more. Just keep like scrunching this throughout. I really love this because it smells heavenly. I feel like it makes my curls like very touchable, very soft. It adds like some shine, but like I said, it's not oily, so it doesn't leave a greasy sort of feel or look to the hair because my hair does not do well with that. So when, when my curls like clump up too much, I don't really like that, so I do separate the curl because that prevents volume. I think we're good with the oil. Now what I'm gonna do next is hairspray. So I have been loving the Bounce Curl. This is the alcohol free hairspray and I just like to spritz this all over my hair. But I try to do it close to my scalp because this is going to help me with my volume once I start picking. And I also have another hairspray that I go in with at the end. This one's more like a mist kind of hairspray. Um, so this one I like to use to get like closer to my scalp. Once I put the hairspray on, I will go back and diffuse my hair for just like a minute just to help the hairspray dry a little bit quicker. Now moving on to my favorite part, we're going to pick our hair for volume. If you don't like frizz, you don't really care for too much volume, you care more for definition, you would probably end here. However, I love volume, so I'm going to go ahead and pick my hair. I recently had somebody ask me on one of my other YouTube videos, like what size pick I use. I actually use them all. I don't have like a preference. I actually have a full video on just hair picking, so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. I will link it either here or here. I don't know once I upload it, like what area it's gonna pop up, but I'll let you guys know. I'll also include it in the description. All right. Okay, so at this point, I usually like to find my middle part or I ask my curls where they would like to part because <laughs> they have a mind of their own. Now I can go back and continue picking. I'm gonna add a little bit more hairspray in the front. Okay, so at this point is usually when I will go back and I will touch up any curls that I felt got really jacked up <laughs> while I was picking my hair. It's not always the case. Sometimes I just simply leave them, leave them like that. Um, however, for example, like this one right here, I feel like maybe we can make that look a little better. For the most part, I like to touch up my curls using the cream. Now that my hair is dry, I feel like if I go in with a gel, it might make the curls way too stiff. Alrighty, so I feel like over here, got a little frizzy also while I was picking. i just touch that up. Okay, and once again, I'm going to diffuse. Alrighty, so last but not least, I'm gonna go in with the Widad Flexible Hold Hairspray. I love this stuff. It's awesome because it doesn't leave your hair crunchy. And I'm just gonna spray this throughout my whole hair to make sure that the volume stays for as long as we can. Alrighty, so we are pretty much done. What do you guys think? Not too shabby. I love 
I love the results. This is how I like to rock my hair, where it has definition, it has volume. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. We're pretty much done with today's tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys got something from it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see next. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also, please don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up to let me know that you like it also don't forget the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos yeah that's pretty much it you guys i will see you in my next one bye okay bye bye oh my god <laughs> Dig, <laughs> dig,